A Midsummer Night's Dream. Act 1, Scene 1. I have a story, strange but true, that I would like to share with you. I set the stage to begin my show in Athens, Greece, so long ago. Now let me take you back in time when a duke named Theseus was in his prime. The duke ruled Athens and was top in command. He governed his people with a firm, steady hand. A queen named Hippolyta would soon share his life. In just four days, they'd be husband and wife. Throughout this great city, the excitement grew. A huge feast was proposed, entertainment too. These arrangements were made at a feverish rate, but the business of governing would not wait. A man named Aegeus burst into the room. His face was furrowed with furry and gloom. His daughter Hermia felt the strain. She knew her father was there to complain. A young lad, Lysander, followed behind. Passionate love thoughts enveloped his mind. He cherished dear Hermia, that was clear. So did Demetrius, who brought up the rear. His daughter won't marry the one he decided. Demetrius the, is the mate he chose. She wants to be Lysander's wife. He won't allow it, not on his life. This is the last straw. I come to beg the power of law. She must do what he says and listen to him, or prepare to die. I despise Demetrius. I am devoted to handsome Lysander. This love in my heart cannot be swayed. To marry another would be a charade. He said there's no choice. You'll forfeit your life. This law I defy. I'll become a nun. I'll even die. I'm as rich as Demetrius and as well-born. Hermia's love for me, you must not scorn. And furthermore, I wish to say, Demetrius loved Helena until yesterday. He courted the lady and won her soul. I'll tell you, Demetrius has no self-control. <laughs> Don't cry. Your tears I will soothe, for the course of love never did run smooth. An aunt of mine lives seven leagues away. We could go to her place without delay. She has no children, not even one. She loves me, though, as if I were her son. There we shall marry and in this sorrow. Run away with me at twilight tomorrow. I will not fail. Lysander, I vow by Cupid's bow, tomorrow night I'll be ready to go. We'll meet in the forest, then into the darkness we'll disappear together, my dear. We shall both flee, and at your aunt's home I'll marry thee. My sweet Lysander, I will no longer grieve. Hermia! Demetrius is my life, but he dotes on you. I'll never be his wife. Oh, teach me, Hermia. Tell me what to do. If only I was as beautiful as you. Dear Helena, don't cry. I guarantee I can't stand your guy. I'll tell you, dear friend, what's on your mind. We're running away tomorrow night. It's the only way to solve our plight. Demetrius loved Hermia. This is far more than I can bear. How can I get him to love me instead? I'll tell Demetrius about their little scheme, and he will thank me for sure. Act 1, Scene 2. We'd better begin. A play's been requested for Theseus and his bride. We haven't much time. Their wedding is soon, so we'll have to act fast. Now listen, as I read out the names of the cast. Nick Bottom, the weaver, your role is to be. Pyramus, a lover, as you will soon see. A lover most gallant that kills himself for love. A lover, it's such a great part. I'll give the ladies a change of heart. I'll have them all in showers of tears. They'll remember my acting for many years. My Pyramus will be hard to resist. But proceed, dear Quince, go on with your list. You'll take Thisbe's role. I want you to give it your heart and soul. What is Thisbe? A wandering knight. 
Oh no, this bee's a she. And madly in love with Pyramus, you'll see. I'll not play a woman. Can't you see I've started a beard? I'll be Thisbe. I'll be the girl as well as the boy. I can speak like a lady. I'll be sweet as a dove. Oh, Pyramus, you are my love. It'll take me quite a while to learn, for I am slow to study. I implore. Don't worry. All you do is roar. That fearsome beast I could be. I'd growl so loud they would never complain. They'd beg to me to do it again and again. Roar! I told you, I'm much better than him. You'll scare the ladies, and that's wrong. Then I will roar as soft as a nightingale's song. Roar, roar. I know the woman will love my technique. Quince. Your premise. That, that ends the debate. Any more of this talk, I will not tolerate. We'll meet in the wood tomorrow night and rehearse our play by the moon's silver light. Act 2. Scene 1. And if they looked closely and listened with care, they'd have heard rustling in the bushes out there. Per perhaps they'd have seen a shimmer of wings and many other magical things. For in the dark woods the humans took flight. The fairies hold revels far into the night. Oberon was the king of this very land. And the little sprites jumped to his every command. But for fairies too, life's not always serene. Oberon has quarreled with T Titina, his queen. I'll met by moonlight, proud Titania. Why are you here? All you do is argue and complain. Since the start of midsummer's. We've had this feud. It's put all nature in an angry mood. Then change it. You have the cure. Your stubbornness I'll not endure. Fill your Oberon's heart with joy. I do beg your servant boy. Come now, Titania. It is my only request. He'll be my helper and we'll end this unrest. It's not that easy to end our dispute. You don't seem to understand. This boy is the son of a very good friend. She was in a service, but alas, she was human and had to die. I promised her I'd raise her son, the fairy. Land buys not the child of me. Come hither, my elves, away we shall flee. I'll get my revenge, but I'll need some help to change my bad luck. I need you to find an unusual flower. I'm in a frantic need of its magical power. It's called love and idleness, my little sprite. It's purple in color, though it used to be white. When sleeping eyes are touched by its juice, a powerful love potion is set loose. I'll repay my queen. I'll observe her sleep in the forest green, then drop the nectar into her eyes. When Titania awakes, she'll have a surprise. The next thing she sees, be it bull, wolf, or bear, she will suddenly feel a love more rare. I will not cancel this magic spell till she gives me the boy. Then all will be well. This flower I'll find. I can do it so fast. It will boggle your mind. I'll search everywhere and try hard to please. Act two, scene two. I pray you, my darling, change your mind. I have to you my love unfurled, for you, Demetrius, are my world. I reported their plan, I did my part. I beg of you now, give me your heart. Get out of my life, leave me alone. I told you before. You make me ill. I love Hermia, and I always will. Hmm. He will change his mind. It's Hermia I must find. 
Act three, scene one. This shameful conduct just won't do. I'll use the flower on this lad too. When the young man awakes, he'll see Helena's face and it will be her he'll want to embrace. When Puck returns, we'll make everything right. Welcome, wanderer. Well done. We'll do our tricks now, one by one. I know a bank where the wind time blows, where oxlips and nodding violet grows. There sleeps Titania some time of the night, lulled in these flowers with dances and delight. I'll meet Titania for our rendezvous. This juice will make all my dreams come true, and you, my comrade, must find the youths who's gone stark raving mad. The lady he scorns follows close behind. You must give this Demetrius a change of mind. Take some of this juice and anoint his eyes, but make sure Helena's the first he spies. You'll know the lad by his Athenian clothes. Come back before the rooster crows. Fear not. I'll do as you ask. Beloved, I'm faint. I need to rest. Lysander, find you out a bed, for I upon this bank will rest my head. It would be wrong if together we'd stay. There is the youth that Oberon choose, for he is wondering just the right clothes. And he is maiden, sleeping sound, on the dank and the dirty ground. They lie apart, another good sign. His romantic intentions ill rewind. A powerful passion I will induce. So awake when I am gone, for I must now to Oberon. Act three, scene two. Oh, I am out of breath in this fond chase. The more I pray, the lesser my grace. Is he dead or asleep? Lysander, if you live, awake, great sir, and run through fire I will for thy sweet sake. You're my sweet. You have got to be kidding. I know it's Hermia you want for your bride. Not a chance. It's you I love, who would not change a raven for a dove. Give me a break. Do you think I was born yesterday? Your speech to be is like a thorn. How dare you treat me with such scorn? Lysander, help me. What an awful dream I've had. A serpent lay across my chest, devouring my heart. Lysander? Lysander, my love, what has occurred? Out of hearing, gone? No sound, no word? Alack, where are you? Speak if you can. I need you to sing me a lullaby. What thou seest when thou dost wake, do it for thy true love's take. Be it lynx or cat or bear, leopard or boar with bristled hair, when thou wakest it is thy dear. Wake when something vile is near. I've the perfect idea what to do. Oh, monstrous. Oh, strange. Let us fly this place. Why did they flee? This is to make a joke of me. I'll show them I have no fear. I'll march and sing out loud and clear, hee-haw, hee-haw. Mine ear is much enamored of thy strain. I pray thee, gentle mortal, sing again. I am enchanted by your lovely notes. Come, fairy servants, bring me some oats. You are beautiful beyond compare. Stay with me forever, I propose. How did it go, Puck? Who did she pick? Wait, I'll tell you. I know you'll be satisfied. She didn't love with a monster, a donkey. What a surprise! This falls out better than I could devise. Act four, scene one. I won't give up. 
I love you still. Demetrius, you're such a creep. Did you kill Lysander while he was asleep? I'll tell you I'm innocent. I'm sure Lysander is not dead. Why do you scold me so severely? My only fault is to love you dearly. Demetrius, I know you speak in jest. Puck, oh Puck, this isn't right. You chose the wrong man, you silly sprite. Fly like the wind, be Helena's guide. Entice her back here by this man's side. Go quickly, Puck, and fix this mistake. I'll use the flower to cure this heartache. I remember the woman, but that is not the man I charmed. Stand aside. Oh, Captain, your wishes. I did execute, but Lysander is in swift pursuit. This noise they make will cause Demetrius to awake. Then. Helena, I worship you so. You mock me. I told you to go. Oh, Helena divine, tell me you love me. Just give me a sign. Marry me, please. The two of you are acting absurd. In fact, abnormal is the word. I'll restart my life. I must have Helena for my wife. It's me she adores. My affection for her is greater than yours. I'll prove it with the blade of my sword. Oh, spite, I see you are all the best to set against me for your merriment. If you were men as men you are in show, you would not use a gentle lady so. Lysander, where did you go? Behold, it's the ugly old crow. Is this a dream? It cannot be. It's hell enough for me. This game you play is really cheap. Injurious, Hermia, I do contend. You join these men in scorning your poor friend. You are a thief? Your accusi accusation defies belief. Lysander is mine. You stole him by night. You canker blossom. You parasite. You painted maple. You must stop this brawling. This is your mess. You make everything right. Hurry now, Puck. Overcast the night. Act 4, Scene 2. Oh, what visions I have seen. In one I dreamt, I loved a creature obscene. There he lies, sleeping, a wreath of flowers around his head. Loathe his face. How could I worship such a creature so base? Get this clod on his feet. Return the man's head. Send him back to his team. Make him think it's all been a dream. I have had a dream most rare. So strange that it is hard to share. I'll have Peter Quince write a song. And I will sing it loud and strong. But now I think I should away to tell my friends and rehearse the play. Act 5, Scene 1. I'd like you to know, were you not rivals a short time ago? I beseech your grace, I am amazing at what took place. It was with Hermia I ran away, for the law of Athens we would not obey. In a dream, I loved Helena, but not anymore. Hermia's mind, as she was before. My love for Hermia has melted like snow. It is to Helena my heart I owe. I decree, instead of one wedding, we'll have three. Act 5, Scene 2. I am the prologue. We don't want the ladies horrified. So I'll tell you the story, blow by blow. What's this? A one-man show? Tis the silliest stuff I can recall. Oh, look, here comes the wall. In this play, it doth befall that he on whoever by name presents a wall, and such a wall as I would have you think. Pyramus and Thisbe, the lovers in our play, whisper through a wall every day. Oh, sweet, oh, lovely wall. Show me the opening so small. Oh, wall, hear my moans. 
my cherry lips have often kissed thy stones. I see a voice. Run away with me, Thisbe. You are my soul. At Ninny's tomb, we'll meet straight away. I come to you, Pyramus, without delay. This luncheon doth present the moon. I wonder if Thisbe will get here soon. Pyramus, save me. Oh, my Thisbe, you can't be dead. What's stained with blood? Oh, dainty duck, come back again. I can't go on without you. Dear, my life is over. I'll end it here. I'm so distressed. I'm dying, I'm dying. My pulse is ebbing. I'm dead. Is this a dream? Asleep, my love. What dead, my dove? These lily lips, this cherry nose, these EQ cheeks, no longer rose, are gone, are gone, his sword is drawn. Come, trusty blade, my breast imbue, and farewell, friends, adieu, adieu. We've had a long day, and now to bed we must away. Tis midnight, and the bells do chime, dear friends. It's almost fairy time. If we shadows have offended, think but this, and all is mended, that you have but slumbered here while these visions did appear. And this weak and idle thing, no more yielding but a dream. Gentles, do not reprehend. If you pardon, we will mend. And... As I am honest Puck, if we have unearned luck, now to skate the serpent's tongue, we will make amends ere long. Else the Puck a weird call. So good night unto you all. Give me your hands, if we be friends, and Robin shall restore amends.